Hello friends. In this video, let us discuss about the topic of inheritance in Java. Let's start with the definition of inheritance. Inheritance is defined as the process where one class acquires the properties, that is, methods, etc., of the another class. What is a subclass? The class which is derived, that is, take properties from the superclass, is called as a subclass. What is a superclass? The class from which the other class is derived is called as a superclass. Note, subclass is an extended version of the superclass. Question arises: Why do we use inheritance? We use inheritance to promote reusing of code. Let us now see types of inheritance. First one is single inheritance. When a class inherits another class, it is known as single inheritance. Let's take a general example. Every student has a ID, name, and address. Every teacher also has ID, name, and address. But the extra thing that teacher has is the salary. So the teacher here inherits the properties from the students of ID, name, and address, and adds its own property, salary, to the class. Therefore, the teacher becomes subclass. and the student becomes the super class this is an example of single inheritance the second type of inheritance is multi level inheritance in this type of inheritance the derived class inherits the features of the super class and simultaneously this child class acts as a super class for another derived class let us take example student has properties of id name and address teacher also has properties of id name and address but the extra thing that teacher has is salary so that for student and teacher the teacher becomes a subclass and student becomes a superclass now teacher has id name address and salary but hod also has id name address salary and his own department his own department extra so hod inherits the properties of id name address salary from teacher therefore the teacher becomes super class and hod becomes sub class this is multi level inheritance the third and the last type of inheritance is hierarchical hierarchical inheritance in hierarchical inheritance one class acts as a super class that is base class for more than one sub class more than one subclass can inherit the features of the base class let us see example a is the superclass and here b extends a that means b is the super subclass of the a similarly c is also a subclass of a and d also subclass of a both uh, also b c and d all three inherit the properties of a therefore all three become subclass this is hierarchical inheritance note java does not support multiple inheritance with classes we can achieve multiple inheritance only with the help of interfaces let us see one program to understand this concept better here we have class student in which one method is having a statements i am a boss another method, another class teacher which is extending student that means all the methods of the class student will be inherited by the class teacher also we can define some additional properties to this child class in class teacher we already have one method we say which describes i am a teacher and i get salary also one method is inherited from the class student that says i am a boss now there is another class hod which extends teacher that means hod has both the properties of teacher and student hod has one method declared it says i am hod and entire department is mine let us now see the main method public class inheritance example public static void main we have created an object of hod class which is our latest subclass and has properties of student teacher and hod itself 
Let us now call the methods of student, teacher and HOD by HOD.show, HOD.show1, HOD.show2. Let us now see the output. The output says, I am the boss, I am teacher and I get salary, I am HOD and entire department is mine. That means HOD class has inherited all the methods of the class student, all the methods of the class teacher and also it has its own method. This is the very simple concept of inheritance. Let us now discuss is a and has a relationship. Is a relationship in OOP that is object oriented programming is a relationship corresponds to the concept of inheritance. Has a relationship in OOP has a relationship simply means that an instance of one class has a reference to an instance of another class or an another instance of the same class. For example, we have class student, code inside, some code inside it, class teacher extends students, class teacher has one variable that is private salary sal and some code. Now student and teacher are related to each other by a either relationship and teacher and variable salary sal that is of type salary that they both are related by has a relationship. That's it from the video. Do like, comment, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.